can anyone identify what this video signifies yes you are right this is called spider nevi also called as spider angioma or vascular spider i will try to provide some information about this topic arterial spider also called as spider angioma or vascular spider or spider telangiectasia it is called so because it is shaped like the body and the legs of the spider central arterial forms the body of the spider branches from the central arterial forms the legs of the spider this is a, a typical spider angioma this picture i have taken from physical diagnosis the author sarastam jal vekil and golwala 11th edition a very popular book in clinical medicine as shown in the picture when the spider angioma is pressed in the center over the central arteriole and released you can see the blood filling from center to periphery the common sites are neck face arms and upper trunk that is svc territory why it occurs only in svc territory nobody knows the exact reason is not known probable hypothesis is the effect of sunlight as a trigger for this spider angioma formation now arterial spider or spider angioma can be physiological or pathological spider angioma five or less in number or smaller in size they are considered as physiological more than five in number or larger in size is considered as pathological what are the causes of physiological spider 2% of healthy individuals especially older age pregnancy these are the two physiological causes of spider angioma why it occurs in 2% of healthy individuals the mechanism is not known but why it occurs in pregnancy the mechanism well known is increased estrogen acting as a vasodilator causes of pathological spider here is a big list of causes cirrhosis of liver viral hepatitis a vitaminosis b hyperthyroidism rheumatic fever rheumatoid arthritis sle cushing syndrome zero derma pigmentosa chronic irradiation dermatitis why it occurs in cirrhosis of liver the mechanism is decreased estrogen metabolism leading to increased estrogen levels in the blood similar to that occurs in pregnancy size and number of spider angioma increases with the disease progression so that means when the number of spider angioma are more that means the cirrhosis is very well advanced in viral hepatitis the spider can be transient and disappears once the viral hepatitis resolves what are the differential diagnosis for spider angioma campbell de morgan spots also called as cherry angioma and venus star these are the two important differentials for spider angioma how does cherry angioma look like they are bright red they are seen on the front of the chest and abdomen and common in old age this is how it looks like venus star they are larger in size compared to spider spider is typically 0.5 to 1 cm whereas venus star is 2 to 3 cm in diameter it is seen over the dependent parts of the body and the causes are venous insufficiency and ccf this is in brief about spider angioma thank you